and he gave it to me. Thank you so much. All right, who wants to see another trick? So we have a 50. You should see this trick with a 50. Pretty awesome. <laughs> just kidding. He doesn't look too increase about giving the magician any money. I'm just kidding. Actually, um, who can tell me how money's made? Manny, do you know how money is made? From a money printer, that's right. How about uh, one of the kids? Yes, do you know how money's made? I can't hear you. Turn your microphone up. That's a, that's a good one. Uh, I was looking for like hard work, determination, go to college, know this guy, man. He gave me 20 bucks with the quickness. It's actually made with linen, like fibers, like with my shirt. Uh, and I'll show you, this is illegal in some states. I think this is one of them. Check this out. All you have to do is wrap it up just like so, in like a little tube. And look, you can see the little fibers coming out just like that. This is illegal in some states. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, so I'm so sorry. Yeah, you didn't see me do that. Let me push that back here. My apologies, bro. And here, watch. All you have to do is when you place this back inside, get inside here. Get inside. Get inside. And you just heat it up with a little breath. Like that, that's when it goes back in just like so. Pretty cool, right? Awesome. That's my twenty dollar trick. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was cool. How about a car trick now? You wanna see like a cool car trick? Yeah. You're worried about your money, right? It's a all right, you know what? You guys seem to be really big in the money trick, so do you guys want to see another money trick? Yeah. Thank you for not saying no. I don't I don't have another trick right now. I'm just kidding, this is my money trick. Let me put this over here. We put this over here, and let me make sure you guys can see. Can you guys see this? I'm going to teach you a trick. This is cool. This is um, where it sounds like you rip the bill. It sounds like I would never rip the money. It sounds like I'm uh, by the auditory illusion. I go, I go like that. It sounds like I rip it. Um, you've done this before? And you just make the noise. Like, like, oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. It's so sticky out here. My apologies, man. Yeah, I'm sorry, bro. Uh, uh, can I, I'll give you 20 bucks. Is that cool? Is that a, how many would that be? That would be pretty many, right? Since I'm a magician, how about we do something magical with it? You know what? It actually reminds me of the $10 trick. Can I show you that? All right, cool, cool. I'm going to show you a trick with $10, right? Watch, we're going to make a $10 money ball. You know what? We're going to make two $10 money balls. Raise your hand if you'd like to see the money go back together besides Manny. I think like, everyone wants to see his money go back together, right? All right, so here, you know what? Let me move this over here without it falling. Put this right here. Stay. Sorry, my skin's leaking. Holy cow. All right. It's right here. I'm going to get that checked out. All right, so here, watch this. See, we're going to make two little money balls right here. Don't blink. Hello. Don't blink as if you blink, you make this. That way, the closer you look, the less you see. Uh, I don't know if that means I just saw that movie. All right, so check this out. See how they're far away? On the count of three, say go, everyone. And we're going to go back together. One, two, three. Yeah. And check it out. They're back together. Thank you so much. Awesome. Dude, I really good. I didn't mean to rip it, man. Uh, I'm just kind of feeling fast on my feet here. Uh, and you know what? Check this out. Watch. We're going to use half over here and half over here. And look, you're videoing this, right? Did I just say videoing this? Yeah, you're videotaping this. But my thumbs almost touch, but they don't. When I do the secret move, that's when it vanishes and it jumps over here, leaving two pieces. I'll do that again. I'll do it you guys actually like it. Watch, 10 over here and 10 over here. Watch, my thumbs almost touch, but they don't. Just like that, when I do the secret move, that's when it jumps over there. Awesome. Cool. Uh, and you know it's not a futuristic sushi roll, okay? That's what you're gonna go say that, me, right? Yeah, this is not a futuristic sushi, sushi roller. This is a secret government issued vanishing device. Whatever I put inside here will disappear. That's why I'm not gonna keep my hand in there if you want. So check this out. We're gonna use the four aces. Check it out. Alright, watch in the four aces. We have it. Oh wait. I did this trick once before. The three aces, the ace of hearts, the ace of Spades and the Ace of Diamonds. Which one will vanish? We don't know. All I have to do is put them in my secret government issue uh, vanishing device, just like this, and I need you to concentrate. I have my man right here. Are you concentrating? Concentrate. And hold your fingers out. Everyone, hold your fingers out. I do magic hands like that. I want to concentrate. I want to say the magic words. The magic words. I squeeze the top and squeeze the bottom. That puts the stipple in conjunction with the brain. Lower it on the hip so it's benefit. And it works on the lower oxytocin and the density of the air. That's why my skin looks like that. And check it out. Just like so, we have the Ace of 
parts. Obviously, the piece of parts is not vanished. You can go right here. Stay. Stay. And we have uh, the ace of spades. The ace of spades is not gone. And let me check. I think the last one, the ace of diamonds, is gone. It's totally gone. Thank you. It's totally gone. Yeah, no, it's totally gone. See, it's, I'll show you the other side. Yeah, like that. See, it's totally gone. It's totally, wait, you holding it? Should I turn it around? All right, I'll turn it around. I'll turn it around like that. That's not what you meant, right? Turn it, oh, I'm sorry, turn it around like that. Turn it around like, nah, I'm just kidding. If you think I'm holding the ace, you'd actually be a little wrong. I'm so sorry. And the ace has vanished. What's that? Flip it around. Flip it around. And the ace is vanished! Hey, when I do magic career, thank you. Thank you for allowing me to sound like an audience. Thank you so much. And look what I do, this ace totally vanishes. Where it goes, no one knows. Is it in your pocket? Check it out. Is it in your pocket? No, it's not in your pocket. Is it a. Uh, wait a second, guys. Check this out. The ace has jumped. Back inside the box, the music and gentlemen, let's hear it for the Ace of Diamonds! Woo! That's never worked like that before, that's pretty impressive. Alright, so check this out, we're going to play a little game. This is the world's oldest game with the contents of this bag, and you see more of your money. Where did Manny go? He has more money on him, or do you want to go get more money? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We're not going to use any of this money. We're not going to use the contents of this bag, and inside this bag is a button. And this is the world famous cup trick. It's the cup and ball trick. Do you know why we call it the cup and ball trick? Because it uses a ball and a cup. That's right. And I don't know where you're from, but anywhere in the world they play the game called Three Card Body, where they throw the cards and you have to chase the ace if you want to find the queen. Sometimes they play this game with three cups where you have to find the, the ball or the lead. And you guys are my partners, I want you to win. And I'm going to protect yourself from ever uh, getting scammed from the street game right here. So, uh, which hand do you think the ball is? Just by pointing. Just my right or your left? Wait, my left or your right? Here, I'll give you a hand. Oh, yeah, that's right. See, you're my leader. I want you to win. Even when you least expect it here, I'm going to mix it up just like that. Just by pointing where you think the ball is. I'm going to mix it up. That's right, that's right. And here, one more time, just by pointing, where do you think the ball is at? Just by pointing. Alright, I know this may be weird. This is called conditioning the audience. I take a couple psychology courses, and I literally have you eating on the top of my hand. Not literally, that's actually disgusting. That's an idiot, though. So here, my hand, Alexander, whenever you say go, I'm going to make the ball jump from my, from my hand to underneath the cup whenever you say go. From my hand to under the cup whenever you say go. Hold on, I wasn't ready. I'm ready now. When he says go, I snap my fingers and fall. Nicky's out! Invisibly! I'm so sorry, sir. Get you doing the head. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's awesome. That's like the hard part. The hard part is actually making it jump back. Just like that. Thank you. It's like a party. And here's some decorations. Here. Have a souvenir. Welcome to the Oval Office Bee Market. I'm just kidding. Uh, I would say you didn't know where that came from, but I just regurgitated my last magic trick. We'll get someone on that. Who's ready to see the first trick I ever did in a magic show? And I'm not talking about five minutes ago. I'm talking about when I was 11 years old. This is the box I made when I was 11. And uh, what does it say, guys? That's right. And my work made look familiar from the highway. I used to dabble in the dark parts of the feet. But now just entertain, so don't get worried, okay? And when I was 11 years old, I got the courage to do my first card trick ever. It's the five card trick. Do you know how many cards it uses? Have you seen this before? That's awesome. You're like a genius, dude. You're right. It actually uses five cards. It's a world famous five card trick. And I remember like this yesterday. I was at my Uncle Lenny's house in New York City, which is a magical place in itself. And um, it was just like this. We had 15 family members. We were sitting on folding chairs, eating triangle sandwiches. I took a five card trick. But check it out. Actually, the five card trick uses one, uses two, three, four, five cards, except for the fact that it only uses four cards. It's a five card trick, but with four cards. It's a little tricky. But watch when I put one card in the box, snap my fingers, cast a shadow, just like that, and say the secret magic words, abracadabra. Just like that. That's what I have. One, I have one, two, three, four, 
five cards and the audience put their fist in the air and said, amazing! Man, you guys were really off with that. But you know what? My family is a little off. I mean, I can imagine playing. Imagine that. And you know what? Can I start over? That's actually not how the story went. Can I do that one more time? I'm so sorry. Yeah, I actually stay. I actually wasn't 11 years old. I was 7 years old. Yeah, my bad. I was 7 years old. This is the box I made. What does it say? Yeah, no, it's just magic show. I just wasn't the best scholar, little buddy. Okay, I was doing magic. Because you're doing magic tricks and stuff. Yeah, so I remember like this yesterday. I was in New York City at my Uncle Lenny's house. There was like 100 family members. We were all sitting on folding chairs, eating triangle sandwiches. And I got the bridge to do the, what's up, man? The five card trick. Uses one, uses two, uses three, four, five cards. I was distracted by everyone looking at me. Uh, so actually, it wasn't one card. It was two cards go inside the box, off of the little box right here. Everyone held their fingers out like that, just like that. I snapped my fingers. I said the magic words. Please and thank you. And just like that, that's when I had one, I had two, I had three, I had four, five cards in the audience put their fists in the air and said, amazing! Wait a second, actually, you know what? Uh, can I do that over? I'm so sorry. Uh, that's actually not how to trick me. I wasn't 11, I wasn't 7, but I was 3 years old. Yeah, I was 3 years old. Uh, I couldn't even spell magic show, but I knew I wanted to be a magician. Actually, that's a lie, little buddy. I always wanted to be a lawyer or a doctor, but my mom was like, Bill, you're going to be a magician, and here I am. Hope a lot of flea market. I made it to the big time, baby. So check it out. I remember like this yesterday. I was in New York City. Uh, my Uncle Lenny's house. There was 300 family members. We were all sitting on triangle sandwiches, eating folding chairs, and I got the courage to do my five card trick. Yeah, we were a weird bunch. All right, so yeah, I used one, uh, two, three, four, five cards, but I was distracted. I was distracted by everyone looking at me. And it's actually one card goes off the box, two puts up and two cards, three cards go off the box, four cards inside the big crowd, that's not right, five cards, six cards, seven cards, eight cards, nine cards go off the box just like that. I waved my hand, cast the shadow over the cards. I said the magic words, this is a fantastic audience, just like that. I had one, I had two, I had three. Four or five cards, and the audience said, Amazing! Yeah. Holy cow! And to this day, I've lost about 6,579 decks of cards. Let me ask you a question. Are you guys ready for some more magic? Make some noise! Yeah, this is a lot. Yeah, that's a Come on, a little bit more. Come on. Yeah. Oh, right here. Oh, look at that. Thank you. Thank you. That means a lot to me. That's awesome. Thank you guys too. That's awesome. All right. So my show is just about to start right now. Are you guys ready for the magic show? Yeah. Awesome. We're going to get a real magician to come out now and do some magic tricks. I'm just kidding. It's just me. You're stuck with me. That's it. So let me put this right here. Let me clean up. Let me make some more water disappear. There's no extra charge for that one. That one's on the house. That's how I made it disappear for real. You know what I'm saying? So, I have a confession to make. That trick was the first trick I ever did in a magic show. Would you like to see it? Yeah! I got my fingers. Cast a shadow. Say the secret magic words. Magic Jack is awesome. Oh, and Abracadabra. And just like that, I would make a bottle of ketchup appear. Thank you. I'd have been there. My man right here looks so skeptical. I know what you're thinking, man. Um, and I can tell a lot of people eat Cheerios here. <laughs> you know this trick. Um, do you know this trick, buddy? But here, I'll do it again. Maybe you missed it to see the bag was empty. But now you know there's ketchup inside, just like that. So when I snap my fingers and cast a shadow like that, that's when it disappears. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. That's my son. You're just supposed to clap for me. Uh, wait a second. You guys, you guys know this trick, right? How many of you? Uh, I think I'm just following you. You're very skeptical too. Uh, you think that when I do that, I'm not really doing magic? You know what? Uh, I figured I'd throw this one in. Maybe I should have thrown it out. We wouldn't even do that trick. I'm so sorry about it. We wouldn't even do the catch up trick, guys. Who's ready for some more magic? Yeah. All right, this guy, he thought I was blowing it right there. He's about to leave. And then he was like, wait a second. Hold on. It's real magic. Where did the bottle go? Do you know how many bottles of catch up I lose that way? Well, who are in the car? All right, I'm going to warm up. I'm going to pull down with a little iron. Was I serious about that? I'm going to put a road trip. I'm going to pull down with a little road trip here. And 
I don't want you to think that this is a uh, true piece of rope. Every rope has two of these. Do you know what these are? Do you know what these are? Do you know what that is? What part of the rope is that? That's the end, okay? Uh, I didn't know if you knew that. That's the end. That's the other end. But don't worry about it. Just because my shoes are untied doesn't mean I don't know how to make a knot. So check it out. This is the world's oldest trick done with a rope, a knot, and a pair of... I do fingers. I'm actually not allowed to do sharp on hands here. So here, do me a favor. When I do like this, just say stop when I do that. So when I do that, oh, before I get to the top. I love your enthusiasm, though, because if I cut it here, it's going to be totally... Oh, wait. I'm so sorry. That's, that's actually not the trick. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, the trick is actually to get two pieces of rope, but two pieces the same size. Are these the same size? They're a little uneven, right? A little off, just like your magician here. Sorry about that. So here's the object. Is to get these two pieces of rope the same size, what I could do is cut it with a pair of scissors, but that's not real magic. You came here to see me do real magic, right? Yeah, I say scissors because I've never learned how to say scissors. It's like the public school system, you know? So check it out. If I cut it, that's not real magic. I can also create the optical illusion by bringing the ends of the rope up like this. Three, two, one. Now, they all look the same size. Thank you. Don't get up. It's okay. It's okay. I know it's hot. Uh, I know what you're saying, too. Man, that sucks. See, look, up here, they all look the same. And over here, I have the big and long rope. You see, I don't get paid for optical illusions, but let's do some magic. Do me a favor. What's your first name? Correct. Do me a favor. Just blow right here. And watch, when you do that, you can actually... Uh, 